This video, I'll explain the Buteco Breathing Session Chart. Please look at the screen. Here's an example of the Buteco Method Session Chart. We measure the maximum pause before the practice and every five minutes during the practice. This is represented by blue dots on the chart. As you practice, you should measure the maximum pause when you experience a lack of air, after breathing out, without interrupting the practice. Within the first 5 to 10 minutes of the session, the pause usually decreases. Afterward, the pause length increases, then decreases again after some time. What is the reason for this? The maximal pause before practice consists of both control and willpower components. When you measure pauses during practice, you already feel air shortages. It is already the state of the control pause when you feel the lack of air. As a result, only the willpower part is measured. Consequently, maximum pauses are reduced during the session. As carbon dioxide accumulates in the body, the pause grows. It is necessary to practice until the pause decreases again. Once your body is tired, the pause length will decrease again. Further practice of Buteco breathing will no longer be effective because carbon dioxide will not be accumulating anymore. In most cases, the pause decreases after 25 to 35 minutes. However, every person is different. It might happen earlier or later. Creating the chart allows you to determine how long you should continue the Buteco breathing session. This is an imaginary chart of an imaginary person who is practicing the method for a month or more with the same load, with more or less the same feeling of lack of air. If someone experiences different feelings of air hunger during the session, either more or less, the points on the graph will be correspondingly higher or lower. Because the shorter the pause, the higher the load during the lesson. Correspondingly, the longer the pause, the lower the load. Your load intensity can also be determined from this chart. Those who suffer from cardiovascular disease should pay particular attention to this in order to prevent exacerbations. In cardiovascular patients, if the chart begins with a certain pause, the first or second blue point should show no more than a 25% decrease in the pause. For example, when someone starts the practice with a maximum pause of 20 seconds, the pause after 5 minutes of practice should be at least 15 seconds. As I have mentioned before, practicing with too much load can cause exacerbations. Exacerbations are very rare, but you should still be careful. The load, in this case, needs to be adjusted and made lighter. In the corresponding video, I explain how to regulate the load. Feel free to ask me any questions below this video. I will be happy to answer them. This video is part of my online course on the Buteco Breathing Method. Watch my full online course on this playlist to learn the Buteco method. I look forward to seeing you soon.